people always have their favourite game from the arcade, and everyone wants to know what the best ever is. Maybe it's something utterly iconic like the original Pac-Man. Maybe it's the glorious hitty face virtues of Street Fighter 2. Maybe it's one of those big light gun games like Time Crisis. All would be fair choices in most people's eyes, but today I'm making the case for something else. I might not necessarily believe it, but well, I'm going to do it anyways. The best arcade game of all time is NASCAR's Neo Turf Masters, and I'm going to tell you exactly why that is. With such an awesome title, you might be expecting a big crazy beat em up, something that just wows you in every way. <laughs> but nah, this is a golf game. Say what? Yep, a golf game. Am I honestly going to say that the best arcade game ever is a golf game and keep a straight face? Yes I am. If you haven't turned off the video already, perhaps I should give some background. To be precise, Neo Turf Masters is a golf game made by NASCAR in 1996 and it's also available on the Neo Geo. If you know the name NASCAR for anything, it's probably for another somewhat famous series of games they released for the Neo Geo, Metal Slug, a collection of spectacular one and gunners. But ignore them, they're not the subject of this video. We're playing golf, okay? Accept it. Before making games for SNK and ultimately getting swallowed up by the company later on in 96, NASCAR were a group of employees from IOM. Back in the early 90s, IOM made a series of golf games called Major Title. It's not known exactly what NASCAR worked on when they were at IOM, but Major Title is sort of similar enough to Neo Turf Masters that they plausibly could have worked on this and these games could be considered a precursor to Neo Turf. Frankly, they also aren't very good. They're really boring. I mean, they're golf games for crying out loud. More than that, they're golf games in an arcade. Imagine, you choose to go out to the arcade, it's a special event, there's flashing lights, the sound of many spectacular arcade games, the ever-present jingle of the claw machine, a feast for the eyes and ears, and you choose to play a freaking golf game. For some reason there'd always be one of these in the arcade, but no one would ever actually be playing it. If anything, they were there for the bored dad who's sick and tired of watching their kid pretend to play Mortal Kombat while pissing off everyone else who's waiting in line. And you know what, they're not going to magically get video games just because someone's on the screen wearing a pair of long johns. Golf and the arcade shouldn't go together. They can't go together. And Neo Turf Masters knows this. It's well aware. But damn it if it isn't going to do every single thing in its power to make golf the premier arcade experience of 1996. Now for me, golf is usually something reassuringly sedate. A nice feast of green for the eyes, polite applause, the dulcet tones of Peter Alice. If you're overstimulated, put on some golf. It'll put you to sleep in no time. Kind of serves a purpose that way. But in the world of Neo Turf Masters, golf is exciting, glorious, every shot a heroic effort to be celebrated in a blast of noise, more exciting than 10 games of American football happening at the same time and on the same pitch. And when I play it, I just can't help but be pulled into that world. So different from so many arcade games out there, and yet it works just as well as the best arcade games too. Is there anything special about the play? Well, if you've ever played a golf game, then no, aside from it being well executed. It's the classic system of picking your club, choosing if you want a hook or slice, then using a bar for power and a bar to judge the height, which is actually different from the usual oversensitive direction bar that slices the ball into the trees if you're a millimetre out. Neo Turf Masters doesn't make golf exciting by doing anything over the artificial. There's no power drive that sets your ball on fire, no holes in the shape of a guitar, no overriding plot where you're an anime girl who's on a quest to fight an evil professor who's going to take the world over through playing great golf. This isn't Battle Golf Yuri, it's golf. The holes are, for the most part, what you would see on any golf course. There's a fairway, some rough, a green, a few bunkers and trees dotted around and maybe the odd water hazard. The most this game does to stretch believability would be to have the odd holes tee separated from the fairway by a canyon or something, and even that could be explained away with a rope bridge or something off screen. So yeah, it's golf. But it's beautifully, immaculately, gorgeously well presented golf. Right from the opening cry of final day, final party, start, you're in the shoes of someone fighting for the prize. The game is just gorgeous for a 1996 arcade game, I mean just look at the swing and those beautiful backgrounds. 
Every time you finish a hole you get to look at the leaderboard and see how you're doing, while a chirpy Japanese lady comments on your progress with a whole load of wonderful lines that you can't help but imitate. And there's the music too, which is just freaking brilliant. Upbeat, jazzy, a light but glorious listen that sticks in your head forever. I have the opening motif for the Japanese golf course in my head for at least a week after playing the game. Then there's every single sound effect, from the whack of the ball to the sound of it crashing into the hole, every one of them perfectly judged. Plus the little interludes where your player either celebrates or mourns how he did on the last hole. Not only that, but the golfers aren't faceless. There's a wide selection to pick from, all with different skills, including a power driver option that almost has you thinking you're playing the game as Fred Flintstone. On top of that, there's four courses to choose from. This game gives you quite a lot for your pennies on top of everything else. I need to point out again that in terms of arcade golf, Neo Turf Masters isn't doing anything brand new. It's the same old top down thing where a credit buys you free holes, you'll probably have to replenish it a few times over the course of a round, and putting can be a colossal nightmare. But it's the same old top down thing done incredibly well, better than anybody has done it before or since. Presentation is often a tough term to pin down. Does it mean graphics? Is it about sound? Is it merely just a matter of how it's presented? What goes into it? It's difficult and it can just be fobbed off as something that's irrelevant as opposed to gameplay. It is a bit more important in the arcades where games kind of needed to be eye-catching in order for a person to stick money into them, but it might not be all that big a deal in the home. Neo Turf Masters, for me, is a brilliant example, perhaps the perfect example, of how presentation can turn a really good game into something that's truly great, and with every little flourish that the game does, it pulls you further in, makes the experience so much more satisfying, and shows how much NASCAR actually loved the subject matter at hand. And with this, they do the impossible with Neo Turf Masters. They make an arcade golf game truly exciting, truly playable, and truly as damn good as anything else in the room. Is it the greatest arcade game of all time? Maybe? Maybe not, but I would say that it's definitely the biggest overachiever, and it could well be the greatest golf game ever in any case. More and more people know the game's brilliance these days, making it a stupidly expensive game for an already stupidly expensive system, but nah, just play it on MAME and experience it for yourself. All the glories of hacking around a field, spoiling a good walk, and having a bad day but moving five places up with advantage, we hope. This is Kim's Report. Bye for now!